So in this video, I'm gonna show you that these red stickers are not a death sentence to your tapes. There's a lot that can be done and you should check your tapes before you even think about sending them off to one of these companies because they're not gonna transfer it. They're not gonna do anything. They're gonna put a red sticker on it and they're gonna send it back to you. But I'm here to tell you that we can clean them here at Airmore Coast Digitizing and definitely get those tapes transferred to a digital copy that you can watch and share with all your family. No more crying, no more, oh no, my tapes. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Airmore Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, airmorecoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. This is a South Tree digitizing box, also known as Legacy Box or Kodak Digitizing. One of the things that has been happening with these companies is they're sending back your tapes with these red stickers on them. Charging you up front for, you know, 10 to 15, 20 tapes, however many tapes you send in, and then they're sending back half of them with these stickers on it. Customers are thinking, what? my tapes are lost, there's nothing I can do. It's all BS. This can be fixed. They just can't do it. But the truth is they just don't care enough to do that. They're not charging enough money. Their prices are bottom basement, as I've heard them called on other channels that talk about this. If you look at their website in the fine print, they do have that they do not transfer mold or broken tapes, but it's not very clear that they don't. It's ridiculous. I'm going to show you guys that it is possible to recover and copy a super moldy tape, broken tape, whatever. So if you need someone to do this for you, or you came to this video because there's red stickers on your tapes after sending them off to Legacy Box, iMemories, South Tree, Kodak Digitizing, any of those big companies, then I'm gonna show you that your tapes are not lost. There is a ton I can do to recover something that has mold on it. And these aren't even that bad. It's freaking terrible that people are thinking that their tapes are lost and they're just throwing them in the trash. It definitely takes effort and expertise to do it, but it can be done and those tapes can be cleaned and they can be recovered. And I'm gonna show you uh, how I do it here at Airmore Coast Digitizing. Today I'm gonna show you a really moldy tape and I'm gonna show you how I recover it. Lots of mold and red stickers from South Tree saying that they can't copy the tapes. This stuff is super important and you don't just tell a customer you can't copy it. You do the, the work, you know, you figure out how to do it and you do a good job and you make sure that they can see their home movies again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that she can watch this tape again. It's ripped because the mold sticks to the tape and the tape sticks to itself. And then when you go to rewind it or play it, it rips. And I have a contraption here that I built where I can kind of watch that happen. And when it rips, I can stop and I can repair without letting it just roll through and keep ripping. So this is the way, a good way to do it. There's a few other ways to do it out there, but this is me cleaning this mold on this tape. And hopefully this will teach you that it is possible to be done and to not listen to these big companies when they say that they can't transfer your tapes because of mold, heat, damage, and all that stuff. These stickers are just a cop out because they're not a good business to use. They're not gonna help you. They're not gonna do a good job. So, you know, find a small business that actually does this kind of work if you're gonna send off moldy tapes to these companies. That's my rant for today. Let's get working. Double-sided tape trick and find where it is sticking and see if we can pull it up. Sometimes this is easy, but you can tell here this here we go. We got it. And we will lose this little bit of footage right here, but hopefully this will be all we lose. I mean, I tell the customer, you know, I can recover it, but there's a chance I'll probably lose about 30, 30 seconds or so across the whole tape, depending on how bad it is. And this one here is really bad. And the only way to really get it to come up you can bake them and sometimes that'll separate it but this pretty much always works when I pull tight on it and then rotate then that kind of breaks it free so what we'll do is we'll just make a, a splice here
and we'll get it set up to uh, to go back on the machine. And this, and the rest of the way, we'll just have to hand uh, rewind it. <sighs> but now that I've noticed that it's sticky like that and it's actually going to tear, I am probably going to be able to not let that happen again. We didn't lose much, just this little bit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our little device on that I built here and it gives us kind of a take up reel and we're going to sit here and we're just going to hand unwind it through those really sticky spots. I've added another wheel to the machine here with a pad on it to kind of make this part of the job a little easier and to have multiple different things I can do on the box there. So we'll just go through hand in the wand this and take some time but got to be done to recover it so that's, that's what we're doing probably gonna have to do this with our eight millimeter tapes as well it's definitely sticking you can hear it, it sounds like masking tape I've, I've got lots of videos of me doing this guys so we're just gonna skip to the end I probably won't have any problems and I will say this it is really nice to have this uh, little setup here with these motors to help me wind it up and to be able to adjust the speed on it you can really make quick work of something like this well comparatively all things considered the last audio tape This machine, now that I have this pad here, I'm kind of cleaning the underside of the tape as I'm doing this because it's running across that pad. Not getting a crazy clean, but we're dusting it for sure. Oh, I'm so glad I built this thing. I use this. Oh, it was such a pain to do this before I had this thing. Sometimes I'd have tape all over the floor. five or six splices. Now I get one splice. Once I realize that it has this problem, then I splice it once and then I do this and I never have any more problems. At least the tape won't rip again. There's no special device you can put this in that'll fix sticky tape syndrome. There's some cleaners out there you can use. I know there's some professional cleaners that are probably still around from back in the day, but even those won't fix this. And it's that noise, it's not really tearing the tape up, it's just sticky. It could tear it up if you don't unwind it. But that's not really doing anything to the tape too much. gotten through it we can put it on here put this thing back in reverse first we should clean this thing off all right so we got that good and spliced on there and now we'll take it and we're gonna put it through our cleaner we put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the front of this And that's just going to touch the tip of the, the front of the tape and then the rest of it should just dry it off. That's not perfect there. There we go. And then we'll let this thing rotate. Alright, so now that we're all done with Sticky Shed, it's looking pretty clean already. But we're going to send it all the way to the beginning. And then we're going to put it through um, one more time and then one more time in the Geneva and then hopefully it'll play back. So we'll just let that go all the way to the end. I'm going to go close my uh, 
VHSC order out. The, now that the sticky tape has been taken care of, I'm not too worried about it just rewinding on its own back there. We've gotten rid of the the problems. Now we just have to clean it. You can see where that adds like hours of work to a job depending on uh, the mold situation. It can really add a lot of time. You can see here it's still running just fine. Nice and clean. It's sticking a little bit but not too bad. And this part of the tape here we do have the same thing going on we just barely caught it before it ripped so we can just splice it the way it is and then do the same thing we did on the first part of the tape Not as bad on this side, but it's still bad. Hear it? Whoa! This is the very beginning of the tape. This will be where the majority of our footage will be. So we really want this to, to not rip on us. And you can just see how much time it takes to recover. Customers don't think about this, but we made it. To We're all set up. The GoPro died, and a customer called. So we're gonna set this up this way this time, where it goes over that pad, and then under, and then onto this pad, and then just is just a roller, just to make sure that it goes all the way across the pad. Sometimes I'll drop this on it, just to weigh that side down a little bit. Or whatever side it's tugging on tends like this side's pulling so it tends to want to pull that one up a little so a little weight on this side Fixes that issue And we just let it run over the uh, the pad and this pad here And then I'll clean off the, the mold on the bottom And then I'll put it through the Geneva tape cleaner for one last pass just to get everything nice and wound up tight inside of the VHS tape. So after this pass, we go back into the tape and then we go into one of my Geneva tape cleaners over here and that will kind of do the whole job. And after doing that, usually I'm able to get them to play pretty well. So we have multiple tapes we gotta do this way, uh, but I'm just gonna show one in this video today. Guys, I've been having a ton of fun making these videos and engaging with you guys in the comments. So. Please leave me a comment. Love to answer questions. I also have plenty of people in the comments that will answer questions before I even get a chance to. But there's a lot of stuff going on in the store. Um, behind the scenes on this video. So I'm just kind of ran out of time today. We're getting close to 4.30. And I, I got to go. So we're just going to finish that cleaning that tape off and uh, put these tapes back in their box and get it ready for media management for tomorrow we're gonna let Tom get away from me with the time change so much daylight out yeah I always like to leave here on time because I've got chickens back at the house and every day when I get off work, I like to let my chickens out of their coop or out of their pen and let them, you know, graze in the grass a little, peck around in the grass a little. I don't want to miss that. I more room on this table now that I've moved things around in here. So I'll do the media management right here. And I'll do that tomorrow. Goes with this audio tape over here, which is almost to the end. But to flip that, we'll finish the audio tape, 
we'll put this one back together and clean it and uh i'll probably do some media management off camera but it's starting to wind down today but you can see once you break it free it rolls up fairly easy this thing's homemade i made this myself here in the store i've got videos about it on my channel but i made it out of an old vcr rewinder old tape rewinder that way i could have some parts down the road if i needed them so you go from the left to right but Screws back in. Oh, that's a couple drops. And we'll let that run through, and this is going to push it up against those pads and give us one last clean pass here. And hopefully, we'll get a nice clean tape out of this that'll play one of our players. All that rewinds, I'm going to go ahead and transfer all these tapes to this USB drive and until I get a server I'm talking to a couple companies to decide which server I want I want an NAS because I want to use it for my own personal footage as well I've got so much footage over the years from when I was a camera operator and when I was a kid and just all the years and I really want something I can back all that up on but also um, my customers as well. So we're just gonna go down the line with this drive and grab our files off each computer. And then tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll go through and sort and do all the media management. I'm not gonna have time today to do that. This drive's pretty quick, so it does grab the footage fairly quickly not too big of a deal doing this this is kind of an annoying uh, part of the process right now and eventually this drive will break plugging it in and out so it'd be nice to do it wirelessly for sure and I won't delete these off the desktop until I've double checked to make sure everything works right after transferring it because I'm not using Shopbit Pro on my uh, more professional media management jobs, I use Shopit Pro to do all my transfers. Um, so it can do, like, it can check everything and make sure that everything's transferring correctly. Shopit Pro is a great program for media management. Audio tape that I need to continue doing. I need to finish before I leave. so bad when someone brings in a South Tree or an iMemories or a Legacy Box um, order because I know they already paid for all that crap <laughs> and maybe they just didn't know that there was other options I don't know why you would choose them after seeing all the problems out there but I guess a lot of people just don't do their research and I mean, I used to be that way too. Even I always thought that, you know, how could you do this wrong? How could you, you know, but that was like 15 years ago when I was a young, young man. I'd be at Costco and I'd be like, oh, it's kind of cool that Costco transfers home movies. That's cool. And back then they probably had no, no big issues. But now that there's age is uh, really causing more and more issues. This company really just can't be trusted to do this stuff thoroughly. And that's kind of what you're paying for when you go through a small business like me. It's just thorough, very thorough. And make sure you got everything from start to finish. This tape looked like crap before we started. And what goes digitizing this is Sean. How can I help you? Okay, sounds good. I'll see you then. Thank you. Have a good day. Customer coming on Friday to drop off. They're coming in the st within store hours, so I'm not gonna bother writing it down. All right, so we are at the very end of the tape. We are nice and clean. We're not gonna actually 
transfer this today, but let's put it in a player and just see what it looks like. Now that it's nice and clean. Let's see if we have any dirty heads right away. <laughs> Just to put a uh, an end to act on this video. All right, and there we go. So I'll send a video of that to my customer because it'll make me really happy. So I've started working on recovering your tapes. No, it's bright in here. I can't really see. But this was the one with the worst mold. Jim. Things are going well. This tape is still going. Oh, why has it got to be so long? Recorded TV though, I don't think it really matters, but we'll get, let it keep going. Yeah. But yeah, this tape's playing great now, guys. And that's what, uh, that's what we get, you know. That process that I've dialed in over there really works. All right, so I would capture this today, but I just don't have time and I can't leave it overnight. I don't leave tapes overnight at my store. Never, never ever do that. There's just too much that can go wrong. I just can't do it. But we did this one nice and clean. We got a few more to do. It's going to be okay. <laughs> guys, I know this video probably got a little boring towards the end, especially with that exciting intro. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you need someone to do this for you, and you're thinking about sending this stuff off to one of those bigger companies, please, please, please don't do it. Just find a local business that you know shows themselves cleaning this stuff and let you know that they can do a good job. Um, it's really not that hard to, to look at reviews to find out who's the right fit. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Good luck to you. Don't give up. I'll see you in the next one.